welcome back to Let's Play Shuffle. Once again, I feel like shit today. My back freaking hurts. And just generally feel like crap, really. Both emotionally and physically. I hate when that happens. It's felt like winter has been going on forever now, man. Yeah. Well, anyways, we're just gonna go shopping. I think we should skip the shopping because we've already seen it before. What happened in that scene anyway? I can't even remember. So, when's the next scene that uh, we have seen for then? I have no idea. These scenes that just seem random. Well, they were random, but still. Oh, wait. Ah. That marks the start of the route then, I guess. That's the senpai you're so energetic even during exam week. So, that was awkward, wasn't it? Just get <laughs> through all that and then all of a sudden, as the senpai's round begins. Man, I should have like fought this out a bit more, you know? Like, stop every now and then for the skipping thing and like, so like we can see the scene with the characters and stuff. I don't know. This nonchalant attitude was very much like her. So, so, Mean after school? Yeah, I'm free for now. Wait, which which day was this exactly? Was it like the last previous part or oh, the part before that? I I don't even know because we skipped through so many scenes we've seen before and I can't remember what happened in said scenes. I'd rather not think about the other day, but I'm very interested in trying your cake. Was it the incident w with that? Because it seemed like quite a number of days passed since then. Indeed I will. You have reserved Rin to see me for today. No problem. I think that'll be difficult since today is the last day of exams. There's one person in my class who has a has to party after we're done. So I'll bring her if she's available. She ran off, causing her short skirt to flutter. I wonder what her new cake is like. The bell rang on our last exam was over. Would this be a bell from heaven that leads us to sanctuary, or would it be a bell from hell that pushes us down to the bottom of the abyss? Anyway, our time was up, and now we could do nothing but wait for the judgment call. Yes, we're finally free. People started showing relief as soon as Mayumi shouted that out. We finally made it through the biggest challenge of the first trimester, the final exams before summer break. You're so excited, did you do that well on your exams? Well, 
Talk about being an extreme optimist. というわけでシアちゃんリンちゃん楓の三大プリンセスを迎えて超絶焼け食い大会を行いたいと思います Hell no I don't care if you become a big or cow or a hippo but don't try and drag those free girls down with you さらりとひどいこと言われたような気がするんだけどまあ現実は時として無情なものだからね Anyway, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to pass today. I've already made plans for this afternoon. My plans, of course. I don't understand her personality sometimes. My plans were more important than my youth. So I visited the Shigeri residence with Asa Senpai. I was walking faster than usual because of how excited I was to try her new cake. It's like, oh my god! It'll be delicious! Seriously, this looks like an odd kind of room, to be honest, with like the door leading out into the garden there. I've never seen a bedroom that also, like, you know, has a door leading outside. She winked and left the room. I waited for her in the quiet room sitting on her bed. I'd been here several times but always feel uneasy when by myself in a girl's room. I looked around at her feminine decorations. Then I noticed a awkward by the head of her bed. Seriously man, I'd be like, there's so much pink, it's give me a migraine! Ah! There were a few pictures pinned to it. There was one of her when she was a child, one of her when she was in middle school, and also one of her and her parents. Some of them were familiar to me and some not so much. I stood up and examined one of them. She looks a little younger in this one, I guess it's from a few years back. If it was a family picture taken at the beach, they looked so happy. I did, I'd met her mother a few times, but this was the fir my first time seeing her father. Looks pretty laid back, I can't believe she's related to him. I understand her mother is a relaxed person too, I wonder how a daughter like Asa Senpai was born between these parents. I understand her hasn't aged at all, she doesn't look like a mother at all, look at her body! But Asa Senpai definitely has her mother's face. Not even gonna show what they look like. Something looked off though. As a simple and her parents the picture of a happy family. However, I felt something strange by looking at that picture. I stared closely at it one more time. What? Then I figured out what was strange about it. I never imagined this before, nobody. Not even Kaide or Korea Senpai had told me about it. It wasn't a big deal, and if true it wouldn't be earth shattering. But I had to make sure. If it was true, my view of Asa Senpai would completely change. <laughs> ケーキとコウちゃんも一緒に持ってきたから試食の上で感想をしっかりとよろしくねちなみに今回の新作は巨峰のタルトハウス栽培だとちょうどいい時期なんだアーソー先輩 came back into the room at exactly the right moment アーソー先輩 どうしたのリンちゃん? なんか真剣な顔しちゃって can I ask you one thing? As she placed the tray on the table with a smile, I decided to just come out and ask her directly. Are you a devil? What? <laughs> Funny how I'm just like, what? And she's like, what? Her face froze for a second, even though she wasn't answering me, I could tell from her expression. I'm sorry, I saw a picture hanging on that wall. I never realized it, but... Amazon's ears are... She turned around and looked toward the corkboard in a panic. Then she put her hand on her head in disappointment as she saw one of the pictures. She unpinned the picture and sat down on the bed. 
Then she started smiling at me as if conceited. 僕は人間です。ごく普通の人間。魔法なんか使えない。ただの人間。リンちゃんが言う通り、お母さんは魔族。でもね、そんなの関係ない。僕は人間。人間でなくちゃいけない。だからリンちゃんもそう思ってて。シグレ朝は、たとえ誰が何を言おうとも、人間であることに変わりはないの。僕は人間であり続けるってそう決めた。それが僕のできる唯一の罪滅ぼしだから。Interesting. Unlike with Kaido's route, as soon as Asa Senpai's route start, it's actually kind of got a bit of plot already going on. While Kaido's route took till the very end for plot to actually, you know, kick in. そう、罪滅ぼし。僕は、絶対に言っちゃいけない言葉を言っちゃったから。言った自分が、許せないから。So、you hate magic so much? ニアピンショー、かなまあ、間違ってはいないけど。So wait, from what I can get out here, her mother was a devil, and her dad is a human. But. Wait. Well, Mayumi is an example of this as well, so, like, throw out the whole long year thing. She just has, like, two different icons, but. There doesn't seem anything different about us, s e n b i though, really. Huh? What do you mean? I don't have any big secrets. I was born in an ordinary family. So, でもないんじゃないの例えば、カイデに嫌われてた理由とか。I realized I was glaring at her. I forced myself not to scream at her and calmly open my mouth. How did you know about that? カイデから、中学時代のカイデは、確かに料理部に入っていたけど、それって2年の頃からなのよ。We also learnt about it in the previous round. で、そのニューブリーユが、とある人に恩返しをするために、もっと料理をうまくなりたい、だったの。ただ八つ当たりで憎んで、傷つけて、苦しめてきた人がいる。でもその人のおかげで今の自分はいるから、だから今度は、その人が苦しんできた以上の恩を返したいって。あ、その人がリンちゃんだったっていうのは、今の二人を見てれば誰でもわかることだし。でも、やっぱり信じられないのよね。あのカエデがリンちゃんのことを憎み続けていたっていうのが。だから、その理由だけでも知っておきたいわけです。一人の友人としてね。Not that amusing. 別に面白い話を聞きたいわけじゃないもの。She looked at me with serious eyes. I sighed as I gave up, then sat beside her. There was an accident eight years ago, and both my parents and Kaidi's mom died. The issue was the reason why they got in an accident. That day, the three of them went out on a day trip. Unfortunately, Kaidi got a high fever, and they had to come back early. That's when the accident happened. I can still remember it clearly. We got a phone call from the hospital, and Kaido's dad had answered the call with a pale face. Man, it's like it's the same route, except it's not, because we're going into this story again anyway. He told me that I had to get ready because we were going out. I didn't know what he was talking about, but just followed him. And then I finally found out what had happened in the dark room. I wanted to cry, I wanted to scream until all my tears were gone. But I couldn't cry while Kaido was breaking down right beside me. I thought that Kaido would never stop crying if I cried too. I thought I had to be there for her. I couldn't tell her the truth. Kaido was such a mother's girl, she was smiling all the time as long as her mother was around. I couldn't tell her that they got in an accident because they were heading back to see her. It would be like telling her that they died because of her. For a while, she was so depressed that she wouldn't even eat or talk. The doctor even said she was rejecting life. He 
said that she could die if she stayed in that condition. It was very hard to see her losing weight day by day, getting the nutrition from an, an IV. It wasn't something that could have been fixed with medication. She didn't have a chance unless she regained the will to live. The doctor said that she needed a reason to live. That's why I told her a small lie. I told her that I'd forced them to come back from their trip and they died on the way back. That I was the one who killed the three of them. I didn't care if she was going to hate me as long as it would make her feel better. It was just my childish idea, I guess. But it worked better than I expected, of course. The, she became angry with me and started holding a grudge against me. And that grudge became her reason to live. Even though it meant I had to go through a seriously rough time. She pushed me down the stairs once and threw a knife at me too. I still have those scars on my back and arms. Would you like to see them? I smiled and tried to act silly to lighten the mood, however, as the senpai continued to listen to me with a serious face. Seriously, man, that's the exact thing you said as well. You're just like, I say, hey, you want to see the scars? Then she murmured her eyes filled with sorrow. <laughs> Please don't worry, it's just an old memory now. I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't. But it was better than losing my precious friend to suicide. I wanted to keep my promise to her. I met Shia and Irene around that time. I was taken in by the Fuyu family after my parents died. Since we were living together, Kaede tried everything she could to hurt me. I think I would have died if her father hadn't protected me. When I fought back upon it, Kaede used to be really extreme and judgmental. I was devastated because of what was going on between me and her. You know, I think it was a little bit extra like detailed than the freaking Explanation on the backstory in Kaide's route. How does that even make sense? That's why I spoke to the two of them when I found them alone and looking so sad. I think it was pretty stupid. Only an innocent child would have believed to my obvious lie. Well, yeah, that's exactly what she was. In fact, she eventually found out the truth on her own as she became older. She cried and apologized to me to the point I felt bad. Now she's devoted to me and I feel bad about it. And the senpai chuckled as I complained. Tolerance is my only strength. Not really. Him? The person you respect most? It was my first time hearing that and I could tell how much she respected them just by looking at her happy face. She was usually a leader type so I wondered who she was talking about. My heart started feeling a bit curious about her. Suddenly, she started staring at me. What? Her face slowly got closer to mine. I could see myself in her eyes as she continued looking at me. That's a senpai? Our lips touched. 
It surprised me that she was doing this, but I couldn't move my body. Just like, what? Well, it's not the only thing that's escalated quickly in this friggin' thing, but that that was actually, that didn't escalate quickly. There was some lead up to it, at least. Sort of. I don't know. I don't know, man. But it was obvious they were gonna get together at some point, it's her Ralph for crying out loud. I just continued to let her lips touch mine. I could see her face right in front of my eyes. Her closed eyes and red cheeks gave me a different impression of her than the one I had in my memory. It was the first time I saw Asa Shigiri as a woman. Well, this route is very different to Kaide's. Wait, there's actually bits that we like... But it's a route and there's actually scenes we've seen before and... And well, whatever. The bell I long for rang and classes were finally over for the day. Ah, uh, a long week is over. I stretched my arms and felt relieved. We even had classes on Saturdays. Since it was a stressful week of exams, I just then felt like I was truly free. I wish she hadn't reminded me of that. But I can barely read this because it's all in like different color here. It's just like. Hard to freaking see some of it half the time because it blends in a little, I don't know. On the other hand, you seem to be in the middle of an emergency. So you already bombed down on all one of them, huh? We'd had exams on nine subjects and got two of them back today. I wish you luck. Mayumi's summer vacation was in jeopardy. You now come to think about it, when we find out that Asa Senpai's mother is a devil and her father is obviously a human, and Mayumi's the same case, right? But the only difference there is like different color eyes. But we can't even see her ears to confirm if there are long ears hidden behind that hair. I doubt it. That's an optimistic statement. <laughs> Congratulations on failing. I don't know about her extremely optimistic outlook, 